Hey there, creepy collectors. How's it going? It's Douglas here, Drum Boy Productions, bringing you another Screaming Ghost Face related video. And today we're going to be taking a look at one of the rarest masks to ever enter my home. If you're a Screaming Ghost Face fan, or hell, even if you're not, but if you're not, why are you even watching this? You've probably seen and heard of Scary Movie. Particularly, the what's up scene is just very widely known, even amongst people who aren't horror fans. But, have you ever seen or heard of Shriek If You Know What I Did last Friday the 13th? I'm willing to bet many of you out there have seen it, especially if you're watching this video. And while it's not quite as good as Scary Movie, it was actually being produced a little bit before Scary Movie, but both films were in production at the same exact time. Not too many people seem to know that, or if they do, they don't acknowledge it, because everyone kind of sees Shriek If You Know What I Did last Friday the 13th, that's a long name, I'm going to get really tired of saying that by the end of this video, they see it as just a knockoff of Scary Movie. And while I can say that I do enjoy the movie, its humor is really dated, especially compared to Scary Movie. And for that reason alone, it was kind of destined to fail the test of time. However, the mask is kind of an iconic mask for how absolutely weird and goofy it looks. At the beginning of the film, the killer is wearing a hockey mask. However, after a quick battle in the kitchen, he gets his face set on fire, runs outside, dunks it in a bird bath, and when it's pulled back up, we see the result of his melted mask. And funny enough, the mask actually looks like a melted and warped ghost face mask, so obviously the resemblance is there, but at the same time, not. Let's just say the scary movie killer was a lot closer in shape to the ghost face mask than the Shriek If You Know What I Did Last Friday the 13th mask was. But enough talk about the movie, we're here to talk about the mask itself. What I have here for you all today is the one and only Shriek If You Know What I Did Last Friday the 13th mask that has ever surfaced. And as far as we know, it might actually be the only one that's still around. Are you ready to see it in all of its spooky glory? I must tell you first, this mask actually is not mine. Unfortunately, as hard as I've looked, I've never been able to find one of these myself. I am still on the lookout for one, maybe one day. But this piece was actually picked up by Johnny's Collection, and uh, he sent this over to me to be used in this video and another video. And also, just to clarify, this mask is not screen used. This is just the only one of these that still survives. These were actually produced by a company called Forum Novelties. Some of you watching are already pretty familiar with forums, but if you're not, now you know. All right, here it is, big reveal time. Yeah, not looking too hot, huh? It is rather unfortunate to see it in this state, but this is the only one that has ever surfaced and the only one still known to exist. I remember seeing when this mask initially popped up and a collector grabbed it, and it was in pretty good shape then. I don't know if it already had rot setting in. I imagine due to the additives and the latex as well as the age, it probably already had started deteriorating, but not badly, because it was still mostly in good shape. But over time, it started deteriorating and getting worse and worse, and Johnny picked it up just because of how rare it is, and uh, unfortunately, it's just beyond saving. A lot of these pieces have just gotten completely petrified, like this over here is just so hard I could crack pieces off. Meanwhile, some parts are still very soft and supple, um, other parts are wanting to separate, and all this deformation, the mask has done to itself. It was well kept, at least as far as I know, this is just what's happened to it. It is very unfortunate to see it in this state, and uh, it's pretty unfortunate to know that if this one, that was kept pretty well, is in this condition, we're probably not gonna find another one in good condition. And due to these being so rare, and the fact that I could not find one no matter how hard I looked for all those years, I actually ended up making my own. So here's my version. I sculpted this based off of just screenshots from the film. I did not have reference to the original mask. There were no pictures of it online anywhere. And uh, Johnny actually had not come forward with the fact that he had gotten that until I posted pictures of my sculpt working on this. And yeah, I think I got pretty darn close. As far as size, putting it side by side, most of the features seem to match up. However, the one thing that I did do is purposefully make this mask misshapen and malformed. I wanted it to have that really wonky shape that it had in the film, but the originals were pretty much like, you know, it's not quite as wonky as this. The eyes are a little bit straighter, but they were cast in such a thin latex that the mask is always getting misshapen. So if you watch the film, you'll see it take on a lot of different shapes. Another thing to note is I sculpted this to be a full head mask because yet again, had not really seen one in person, no good video, pictures, stuff like that. So I did not know that they are in fact half masks with a shroud. I believe the ones that they used on screen had the shroud removed and then obviously maybe modified a little bit just to fit with the full costume. But yeah, sculpted mine with the full head, 
nothing too crazy to say about it. I mean, it's a black and white mask. I cut out the eye holes a little bit smaller than what they did for those, um, which this is actually the first copy out of the mold. So I have done some others for some other friends, just gifting them out to people who wanted to have it just to have like all the movie masks, all the scary movie masks, and of course the Shriek mask as well. But since I was working on this for myself, I decided to not only do the normal one, but the thing that actually got me to want to rent the movie from the video stores in the first place was that crazy cover artwork with the blue mask. So of course I had to do a blue unwearable copy with like just some sprayed in eyes here to kind of give it that crazy expression that it has on the cover. And as I stated earlier, Johnny sent me his original copy for a couple of different reasons. The first reason is because he wants me to remove that original shroud and put it on one of my versions and send that to him. And the other reason is, did you know that the Shriek If You Know What I Did Last Friday the 13th mask was actually featured in Scream 3? It feels a bit weird putting this info out here instead of in a movie guide like I intended to, but I'm still going to do an updated movie mask guide probably with like every mask used in the entire series, whether it be TV shows, the film, whatever, in one big long video. And I was gonna feature that information there as well as maybe just redoing the Scream 3 movie mask guide to include it. But even though it's not a killer mask, when they're in Milton's mansion, if you look in the background for just a quick second, you can see one of those masks sitting on the table. And due to the fact that scary movie, Shriek if you know what I did last Friday the 13th and Scream 3 were all in production at the same time, who knows if it was actually one of the Scream Muse copies or just a Forum Novelties version but there definitely is a nod to it there. So yeah, there you have it, a fun little video. If you didn't know that about Scream 3, now you know. If you didn't know anything about the Shriek, if you know what I did last Friday the 13th mask beforehand, now you do. And I think that this is the first time I've actually shown you guys my replicas in video form, unless it's just, you know, in the background of a video. And with that being said, nothing left to do but give you guys some close-ups of the original, as well as the copies I made. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, as well as the rest of the videos we've been putting out so far this season. Thank you all for watching. I love you all, and see you next time. Thank you.